Okay, so we're here with uh, Jeff Williams because, basically because I'm obsessed. <laughs> From the Kern Brewing Company, the beer bottle that was found under the house in Casa Loma. Now we're going full circle and looking at the whole history of breweries in Bakersfield. And uh, Jeff Williams is owner, co-owner? Co-owner. Co-owner of Lengthwise Brewery, which apparently is the longest running Bakersfield brewery in the history of this town. Yay. We're going to go out on a limb and say that, right? Yay. I mean, we can guess. Sure. Okay. Sure. So, so, a little beer 101. Yes, ma'am. And by the way, we're here on National Beer Day, April 7th. So, you know, hoist one in our honor. Um, ale, lager. Those are the two main Those are the two main categories. Those are the okay. two main categories. And, and what's the basic difference between the two? Because I don't really know. Uh, really, if you look at it, it comes down to yeast strains. And you have to think about when the first breweries opened, they didn't even know what yeast was. It was Louis Pasteur, and I think it was until the late 1800s that he discovered yeast. So we started this whole conversation with the Kern Brewing Company, which I sent you a picture of the bottle. Yes. Had you ever heard of them? Had yes. you looked at the, you had? Yes. Okay. And it, But it's not like I had people come in saying, oh, you know what, I used to go to, right. you know, well, which we, we, really get a little, we get history from bootleggers that opened up in 1994. Uh, Old River Brewing Company, I think was uh, before that in the early 90s. Uh, but it's not like there was an established brewery that we're really compared to. I was kind of struck by the fact that most of these brewing companies lasted three to four years. And it's not like we had, you know, a dearth of people trying. People were trying to start them pretty right. regularly, but they sort of failed. And you were saying part of the reasons were? Part of the re well, if you look at it, Bakersfield's always like beer because yes. of our climate. So you're <laughs> right. People did want good beer. Uh, one of the major flaws, you know, when you research it, you'll find that in the 1860s, 1870s, uh, Bakersfield's climate really wasn't set up for brewing beer. There were certain months that it would be good, and there were certain hot months where it would be almost impossible to control your fermentation. All our tanks that we have here are climate controlled. You can see where this tank's actually sweating. So we try to maintain a precise temperature during fermentation. One of the keys there is we're going to use that yeast again. So if that yeast runs a little warm or runs too hot, you're going to get off batches after that. Okay. So the, the, major, the major issue Bakersfield had early on was climate, in my opinion. Okay, and the water. Because interestingly, when Kern Brewing Company was, was gathering steam to open up, they, they did a bunch of news stories that I looked up about how they had people come and test the water here. And the water here was, you know, perfect for beer. And they went on and on about the quality of our water. So. Right, right. Yeah, and the water is good, but I, I think one of the flaws that in the water for the style of beer that they were trying to brew, they were trying to brew a light lager. Uh, you, you really don't hear much stories about stouts or porters or the ale category. I think our water is much, it, without tampering with the water or adjusting the water, it is set up for brewing great ales, ales. not and lagers. Ale is a heavier beer or a more alcohol heavy beer? You know what, if you, if you look at lagers and where they're most popular and where they started, it's in Germany where the water is ultra soft. It's okay. much softer. And by saying soft, what I'm saying it's not filled with a lot of minerals. Minerals tend to make the water harder. And if you look at uh, England, they were great at making ales. Their water is some of the hardest water around. So there are different water profiles that set you up to brew better beer. And we're heavy mineral? We're, I think that we're a little heavier on the, uh, on the minerals that, that set us up to be more of a, an ale. And there's po uh, politic, uh, political things involved too. If you, if you read early on, uh, the new brewery that started might not have been advertised in the paper because the guy in charge of the paper was the guy that also was with the new railway that was bringing imports in. Had you seen that, that Kern Brewing Company bottle before that I sent you the picture of? I, I do not think I have. Okay. I haven't seen it. I, I'd seen, I think, a paper label, but I hadn't actually seen the bottle with the label on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I hear that they're rare because they went to a, like a longer, more tapered style bottle. Mm -hmm that didn't have the really neat picture on the label right. and all this kind of stuff. So I think that that's a pretty rare variety. Are you guys going to try and recreate it? You know what? I'm not sure at this point. <laughs> you know, Right now what we're trying to create is our own unique product. And not that it's out of the question. It'd be kind of fun to look at their recipes and some of the things they were doing and try to do a historic Bakersfield beer yeah. down the road. I mean, we've been here long enough where we could probably screw around and have fun with it. And let's see. 
You opened in 90... 1998. 1998. I know that there's other breweries in Kern County. Correct. Right? There's the Kern River Brewing Company up in Kernville. You got it. Tatchby, there's Honey Wagon. Okay. just opened recently. And then, believe it or not, in Taft, there's a small brewery as well. Oh, cool. And then I believe there are two breweries slated to open here within the next year. So, are you worried about the competition? Or? No, no. We're actually <laughs> excited about it. What it does is it creates more awareness. If you look at, uh, let's say, Colorado or Oregon, they have, holy Toledo, they, uh, they're probably, for every 100,000 adults uh, that are over 21, they probably have four or five breweries per, and if you look at Bakersfield, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's we're, true. we're a half or a quarter. So. so we're excited about it. Okay. What do you think your secret to longevity has been? Since you are the longest standing brewery in Bakersfield's history. Ever. I, I think it's a combination of things. One, uh, timing. I think the, the timing was right for us. I think it comes down to uh, education. I mean, if, if you look at it, when we started, both my partner and I were in our uh, mid-30s, and uh, we had a history with bootleggers, with Ralph Frugaletti from Fergatti's, and he was a mentor to us, and he gave us uh, a certain knowledge on the food side as well. Oh, yeah. And if you look at our, our locations now, we sell as much in food as we do in beer. So you don't attribute it to just making a damn good beer? You know what? I think that's, <laughs> I think that, uh, that's part of it. But you can make a damn good beer, uh -huh. but at the same time not have the right marketing behind it, not have uh, uh, the community support behind it. And we, we struggled in the beginning I mean it's we, I think we still struggle today but being pragmatic we're willing to do whatever it takes to be successful and I think when you have that desire and that passion it's gonna it's gonna help pull you through I've told the story many a time but if I won the lottery tomorrow let's say 10 million dollars 100 million dollars and I went to my account and he says you know you're gonna have to open a business because it's gonna help you it's like this is what I do okay. so I'm living like I already won the lottery it's like I don't feel like I'm at work right now and and sometimes that's the hardest thing is to shut down and go hey wait a second you you can't always be at work but that in my mind that's if I'm at another restaurant or if I'm out of town at another pub I'm always getting ideas and things to make lengthwise better well cool congratulations on being the longest well, thank you the longest standing you brewery got in Bakersfield. you got it thank you very much national for your time. beer day national beer day here we go have one no get out and get a lengthwise <laughs> no, get a lengthwise all right thank you